So we are doing today is uh, we are going to make some charms for our handbag pom pom charm, pom pom charms. So here see these kind of things. So it's so cute and it's very nice when you put it in your bag. So I already have this here in my handbag. You can see it's so cute. So I love it. I really hope you guys will enjoy doing it. It's very easy. You need some yarn. It's up to you which color you need. And if you like, you can use few of the buttons like or some beads like this way you can see you can use some beads or anything like these kind of things those are the simple things you will be need and i want you to try is first this i will keep the beads in the size and i have only red color today so i'm going to use red color you just need a cardboard piece like this one and um, i'm so sorry my dear it's be if you is it possible you can uh, chat with Arabic letters, it will be much more, sorry, English, not with Arabic, because I'm kind of not good with Arabic reading. So anyhow, you need a cardboard piece. This cardboard piece is not too big. If you see, I use like three inches and five, something like that way. Small pom-pom, because I don't want a big one. And my, you see, it's look very small. So, because you're using for your handbags or wallets or keychains, so don't use big ones. So, stick with small one. For the starters, we will do the pom-pom. So, you know how to make the pom-pom. So, if you don't, please watch the video properly. You need to keep it like this way and go over the cardboard. So, the technique for you to do it, you need to do at least 100 turns. So, I'm going to roll it for 100 times like this way. I totally... They do the counting. One, one, two. So I'm going to uh, roll it. Always go around it for hundred times. So it's take time, but it's fun. I will put my one. It's in the floor. Make sure your cardboard is a little bit hard. If not, it keep bending. You can see like this way. So if you want it to be straight, it's better you hold it properly. If not, and don't pull it too much. Make it softer and do it. So stick with 100 turns. It's enough, maximum. It's fun, not so hard, so easy. So I almost done. I just need another one. So, so yeah, once you're done, you cut this thread from here and leave it in a side. Just make sure you don't mess with this one because this is very hard now. You put a lot of effect on this one. Keep it in the side and just cut another piece for your pom pom to be tied. Keep it in the side. Okay. Now, slowly remove the cardboard from the thread. Yarn. So when you're removing it, it you have to little bit bend the cardboard. It will be easy. Slowly remove it. Don't mess with it. And yes, it should be come out like this way. So when you're coming out, exactly hold it from the middle. Put a knot with this one. Make sure you tie it very well. Okay. So, I already tied well. Okay. Once you have done the tying part, you can make it much more hard if you want, if you have any extra thread. You can make it. Okay, 
so here see now when you tie it it will be look like this way because half from here half here so now you have to do is use the scissor because I don't want you to go and go shopping and buy most of the materials that's why I use a cardboard if not there is a special uh, you can buy for your uh, pom poms you can there's a special uh, equipment you can buy and do it but you can use cardboard and you can use even the fork so I want you to do is now exactly from the middle here you will cut it it should be divided hmm. one side is almost done my now I will cut the other side so he see it's cut it should be look like this way so I'm going to hold this one in a side and I'm going to cut now the other uh, half so same way see it's very easy it's not so hard just double check it's any of them uh, you didn't cut so once it's done it should be look like this so now from your hand you can do and fix it like this way see it's so nice right so now because i got glitter pom pom yarn and it's coming with lot of glitter pieces are coming down so anyhow i want you to do is now try to make it equal so it's better use a scissor and just Cut it. Because sometimes you, when you're cutting it, some will get big, some will get small. So I want it to be equal. That's the reason I'm cutting the extra bits. So it's now nice. You see, it's a perfect. Pom pom. Now keep it in the side. Now the next one you will be doing the bottom part. You see, for the bottom you will need like this way. So that also very easy. Um, I'm going to use same red color because I only have one color. So same way, go around. So in this one, now I only did 14 circle, 40 circles because I don't want it to get much more bigger. That's why. So 40 is enough. I, will, I only did 40. Slowly remove it. And of course you have to cut. Oops. Don't go because maybe I will be need you later. My own fell down. So yes. Now you will do is keep it in the side. Leave it in the side, but be careful you will not remove it. I want to use something different. So I have a little bit white color thread. Uh, I'm going to use that one. I'm going to cut a little bit longer, if you see. It's a little bit longer and long one. So just use one inch below it. Make a knot. Please don't remove. Hold it very well, turn around like this way and make a knot. For the bottom part you don't need to do 100 circles in the cardboard. You just need to do like, I did only 40, even the 40 is too much. Try to stick with maximum 30 circles. If you don't have, uh, in fact, you can try this same technique with uh, embroidery thread also. So once your work is done, now it should be look like this way. So top part is a little bit extra if you see. 
you see this part you will leave like this because it should be look like a bubble way this way but the bottom part this one you have to cut it now from the below like this So when you're checking, make sure all the thread should be equal size. All the way come here. See, few pieces are big, longer than the other. So what I will do, I will cut it. So here see, it should be look like this way now. Now the second technique you have to do is with a needle. So I'm going to use a needle and put to the part. I ask you to cut a longer one. If you have the same color, it's fine. If you don't have uh, the same color and you want to go and use a different color, it's totally fine. So I want to do is I'm going to put it below here and push it from up and take it out. So watch out with your yarn pieces. because I don't want it to look ugly from the out so now it should look like this way if you see exactly in the middle and now you can play around with the beads I'm going to use some different beads some big and some small ones watch this one if not always needle is coming out mm -hmm. so once your work is done you can use any amount that you like the beads so now you will use your pom pom exactly middle watch out with your finger just press this one and take the needle out you can see should be look like this so you can put some beads in the up also if you like I have few white color again my needle came out it's a little bit hard okay so I have this white color beads so I'm going to use those one So here you see your keychain is already ready. So as I said from the starters, now you can use to make a simple thread like this way and you can make it hang in your keychain. So you can use different colors but for the below you don't go for 40. 40 is too much it will not look nice. If you use a little bit less it will be much looking nice if you see like this one use less so it's enough like 20 um, circle in the cardboard it's totally enough so you can you have to do is for the pom pom use the normal small cardboard depends on how how big your pom pom you really need to want so you can use turn around for 100 it's enough totally so once you take it out you tie it you cut around and make like a bubble so once it's done you can do is use the same cardboard go 20 circles and make another for the bo bottom and you can use some beads and hang it so I hope you guys enjoy so I have it on my handbag you see I have enough more than enough so many pom-poms if you see oh I have this green color one also here this is this one so I have few more if you see it looks so nice 
and my red color one come out with glitter um, it looks so nice so you can use yarn for this one it's very easy and embroidery, embroidery thread also it will be working you know embroidery thread is kind of thick than normal thread you can use embroidery thread and you have to add little bit beads and fix this one i hope you enjoyed today's lesson and you can hang this as keychains you can use for your handbag anywhere so i hope you guys enjoy this one See you tomorrow with a new project. Bye. Thank you for watching me.